Hebrews 7 For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. And to him Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything. He is first, by translation of his name, king of righteousness, and then he is also king of Salem, that is, king of, king of peace. He is, he is without father or mother or genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but resembling the Son of God, he continues a priest forever. See how great this man was, to whom Abraham, the patriarch, gave a tenth of the spoils. And those descendants of Levi, who received the priestly office, have, command, have a commandment in the law to take tithes from the people, that is, from their brothers, though these also are descendants from Abraham. But this man, who does not have his descent from them, received tithes from Abraham and blessed him who had the promises. It is beyond dispute that the inferior is blessed by the superior. In the one case, tithes are received by mortal men, but in other case, by one of whom it is testified that he lives. One might even say that Levi himself, who receives tithes, paid tithes through Abraham, for he was still in the loins of his ancestor when Melchizedek met him. Now, if perfection had been attainable through the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people receive the law, what further need would there have been for another priest to arise after the order of Melchizedek rather than the one named after the order of Aaron? For when, for when there is a change in the priesthood, there is necessarily a change in the law as well. For the one of whom these are spoken belong to another tribe, from which, one, which no one has ever served at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord was descended from Judah, and in connection with that, that tribe, Moses said nothing about priests. This becomes even more evident when another priest arises in the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become a priest, not on the basis of a legal requirement concerning bodily descent, but by the power of the indestructible life. For it is witnessed of him, you are a priest forever, the order of Melchizedek. For on the one hand, the former commandment is set aside because of its weakness and uselessness. For the law was made nothing, has, the law made nothing perfect. But on the other hand, a better hope is introduced, through which we draw near to God. For it is not without an oath. For those who formerly became priests were, were made such without an oath. But this one was made a priest with an oath by the one who, who, said, it, who said to him, The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever. This makes Jesus the, guarant the guarantor of a better covenant. The former priests were made in number because they were prevented by death from continuing in office, but he holds the, his priesthood permanently because he continues forever. Consequently, he is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make an intercession for them. For it is indeed fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, unstained, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. He has no need, like those high priests, to offer sacrifices daily, first for his own sins, and then for those of the people. Since he did this, once for all, when he offered up himself. For the law appoints men in their weakness as high priest, but the word of, of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son, who has been made perfect forever.